Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and I wanted to, I guess this is kind of also a response to Magus' gaming community video in a way, but in a way it's not. Um, I want to talk about what, where is your, what are, where is your drive to do YouTube videos? Um, or what is your drive, or do you still have that drive? As we all know, Magus still has the drive to do, uh, he once again has the drive to do video. I said that word like ten times now, the word drive. Um... So that's what this video is about. Your drive on YouTube to do videos on YouTube. Um, some have lost that drive. Some are getting it back. Obviously, like Magus. In a way, I have two. I haven't. I never totally gave up on YouTube. But uh, when I finished Yoshi's Island, I think a month or two ago. After that, and I, at the same time, I finished the Rambo SC2K LP. I didn't really have anything in mind to really get anything uploaded. And. A part of the reason uh, why and I mentioned this in 2012. Part of me kind of did not really want to do YouTube videos anymore because of how I got screwed over by Google AdSense. And again, it's not all about money, but when Google sends me emails saying, "Hey, you can apply for our Google AdSense program," and I do, and I didn't expect to pay bills, but it was a nice way to make some sort of money doing what I love doing and that's let's playing and reviewing mainly let's plan and doing first impressions reviews and all that stuff on YouTube and so when that first happened I thought that was awesome because on blip I wasn't hard to get any traffic at all it was ridiculous I only made like seven dollars not the three or four years I was on blip and but YouTube you know oh wow so everybody has a chance to generate revenue but then I get screwed over and I get hit with some sort of a your Google AdSense account has been disabled because of fraudulent clicking activity, which was not what I was doing. Uh, I talked about this in uh, my, uh, I forgot, it was one of my update videos from 2012. I forgot the exact name of it. I guess it's called Update. Um, and I talked about this a little bit. And again, it's not all about the money or otherwise I would not be doing this. But it was about, it was the principle of the thing. I'm like, man, come on, hold on a second. You said I can make money doing this, some ad revenue on the side. It's not going to pay bills, but it's still pretty cool. And then you accused me of fraudulent clicking activity, which is what I was not doing. And then some videos before that were getting the ad, the ads were getting disabled on that. Preferably, I think uh, it was Nintendo videos because they're getting real strict on that stuff. And um, and even right now, my Yoshi's Island videos. Some of them have been third partied, which I don't mind because I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this for the money anyway. But they got third partied. And my DuckTales video, I think part one of my DuckTales NES Let's Play, is blocked in some countries. I just think that's ridiculous. When it comes to video game reviews, it should be all about fair use. So the copyright laws of this country, we can blame Google for this all day long. The AdSense thing is a different story, but the copyright thing and videos being blocked and third partied, it's not all Google's fault because they do have to comply with all this stuff or they could be in court all day and all this garbage. And it's really the broken copyright laws of this country. And until those get fixed, unfortunately, a lot of um, people that are making revenue and are really making good money, like Dark Side Phil or um, other LPers that really make good money. And I know some people might say you should, you need to get a real job. And well, okay, I can see both sides of it. Like even AVGN has a real job, not just making videos on YouTube, but still, like if you know, if you can somehow, I mean, without you know, um, screwing over the system or being a douchebag, if you are good enough. To provide good content on YouTube and, and make bills that way, hey, why not? I mean, if I if I could pay bills and then have some money to splurge by doing these videos on YouTube, I would. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't you? If it's if it's something that you really like to do, yeah. But again, it's not all about the money, which is why I've been doing this for free for seven years, going on eight years now this fall. Um, but what kind of made me lose my drive to do videos? was it might be because of what Magus said the gaming community has gotten kind of lame but it was also you know how do I know that one of my next videos or sometime in the future could get taken down 
I've never had a video get taken down. One video get, did get muted, and that really pissed me off on a personal level. And that was the it was one of the episodes of a Tribute to X Gemini SC2K show, Mega Man 3. For those of you who don't know, X Gemini was an online friend of mine. And I did use some uh, copyrighted music, like from a real band, from the Freddy vs. Jason soundtrack. It was just a clip to play in the ending. You know, not the entire song, not the entire CD, but just a clip. I thought that was kind of ridiculous. Maybe a 30 second clip of the song. The whole part of that video got muted because of that. You know, I'm trying to make a little tribute video to my friend. Like I, I kind of used to do that almost every year because uh, he loved Mega Man 3. And you know, we would do an S2K show and talk about him. And, like my friend Green on YouTube, or Green K4. He knew H Gemini also online. And, you know, it's like, come on, man. I, I, some of these copyright laws get a little ridiculous. And whether it's Google's fault or not, it's like, I, part of me was like, well, you know, I'm not going to waste my time, really. I'm not going to put that much effort into these videos if the video is going to end up being taken down anyway. And where else am I going to go? Let's be honest. Vimeo? No. Uh, Blip? No. I mean, what else is around that's just as big as YouTube as far as a video sharing site? I mean, Daily Motion? Nope. I, n there's no video sharing site that compares to YouTube. I mean, if you want to have an audience, you're going to find it on YouTube. Anywhere else, you're just really wasting your time and... I love YouTube. I just don't like a lot of the copyright laws and all this stuff going around that, you know, deleting videos for stupid reasons. I can understand if someone uploads a video of the Avengers Age of, Ult Age of Ultron and it gets taken down because that's a movie that's still in theaters, you know, that need that does need to be taken down. It's not like, a, you know, you, you can't do that. I understand there's boundaries, you know, but for video games, I really think it's ridiculous. I mean, video games are on a whole different level. But that could be a whole different topic for another time. But part of the reason why I kind of I don't I haven't totally lost my drive to do these videos. But the reason why my drive isn't as as strong as it used to be is because of what I had to deal with with the frustrations of the changes of YouTube, not just the video copyright stuff, but the layout of the channels and how they forced the change of the design of the layouts and the channels. I, I love the old school design of YouTube. I don't know if you guys remember the back when YouTube first started. I mean when I first started using YouTube at least in 2007 this the channel layout was awesome and then now 2008 or 9 they forced a new change on you and they changed it again and again. I understand change is a part of life but at the same time only if it's good change and they should have at least given us a choice you know how we want to do that how we want our channel to look and so but mainly like my concern is what if I you know work real hard put extra effort into some of these videos and it gets taken down for whatever reason also the fault floss floss parental floss the false flagging of videos really like, I understand where YouTube don't want to go to court, where Google don't want to go to court, but, but still, like, remember back in the day, I don't know if it happens as bad as it now, but back then there were people that would, haters could flag your video, and you could say, yeah, um, this video has been flagged by Douchebag Incorporated, and they would take it down without even investigating it. Come on, and people with false flag left and right, you have to appeal or dispute the claim to get it back up. And like, I don't have any haters that I know of. I'm sure there's a few people that... I mean, I've gotten hate comments before or whatever, but I don't have like any constant trolls or whatever targeting me all the time. But let's say that what well, that happens soon or, you know, someone might disagree with, with what I'm saying in this video. And, well, I want to flag it because, you know, and then flag my channel and my channel gets deleted. It, it, that's BS. I don't care what anybody says. That is BS to where you can false flag something. I could go to Mags' video right now Ron Moore Incorporated uh, has filed a, 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 a claim on this video because he owns Magus's face. And, and, and come on, it's ridiculous. I remember Archfiend saying that his, his one of his videos got re removed, and it was just him sitting in front of the camera. It was no background music, n no copyrighted pictures or footage at all, just him and his face. That was it, and it got removed. And Archfiend's like, I guess somebody owns the rights to my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, see, that, stuff like that. It, now, I don't know if it really still goes on right now on YouTube or maybe Google smartened up and said well let's not be so quick to delete videos hey, come on that, that's ridiculous and 
sometimes videos get muted or if you if you do generate revenue your videos get third partied and or even deleted or your channel deleted for BS reasons and why should I work hard on a video and make it look good if it's gonna get deleted anyway and that's what kinda made me lose my drive a little bit on YouTube like well I'm not gonna try that hard on doing videos I'm just gonna kinda slap it together do a little editing here and there and you know uh, and then upload it and so that's one of the reasons why my video has limited editing I don't care to really do any huge big projects but at the same time I still do this because it's fun and I've never really had that problem um, as far as all my videos getting taken down for ridiculous reasons and I mean it, it's just you know what if one of my videos what if my Dragon Warrior videos I didn't put much work into them but they get deleted that would be frustrating and I will ask what's going on in a file a counterclaim but my point is you know you work hard on a video and it gets taken down all the time that kind of ruins your drive. J Man said his first video was of a, of a review of a Maniac Mansion, I think, and some hater flagged it because J Man said something to the guy in the comments, I think, and the guy got mad, flagged, false flagged the video, and the video got taken down. His first review, and so that kind of ruined J Man's drive in the very beginning to do videos. He's like, well, forget it then. If my videos can be easily removed like that, I'm not going to even bother. So that's why I kind of maybe lost my drive a little bit. Not totally, but a little bit. Now I'm starting to get it back thanks to Magus's Ultimate Revolution or whatever. That was a dumb name. You know what I mean? Magus's Revolution. Or I guess, you know, um, I call it Magus's Revolution because it seems like, you know, he's when he uploaded that video, wow. You know, it kind of woke us up like, yeah, yeah, let's go out there and do it. Yeah, let's do this again. Oh, and also, I don't know about you guys, but what drives me is requests. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna I'm gonna honor all requests, but sometimes when certain people make a certain request, I might say, "Okay, yeah, that sounds good. I'll do it." If not, I might just come, kind of just be like, eh, "I don't know. I'm not really interested in doing that." Now nah, I don't know. Probably not. But some people, like you know Michael Burhan, he said you should do vlogs more often. Now he said once a week. I know I've been doing it a lot more frequent than that, but. I say, you know, that's not a bad idea. Um, you know, maybe do some vlogs once a week. Um, some, some some people in the past requested I do, uh, like my friend Green, when I was doing a uh, Let's Play of Shadowgate on my ROM War channel years ago, he said, you should die on purpose to show all the deaths in the game. I said, wow, that's a good idea. So I did that on the ROM War channel and the SC2K channel. So requests what drives me I don't know about you guys but the lack of requests makes me think well if no one really cares you know then I'm not gonna really do you know do much because I don't have any ideas of my own at the moment or if I'm taking a long time to finish an LP or whatever or if it's been a while since I uploaded anything and if no one says anything or asks hey where have you been what's the next video or whatever then I don't feel no sense of urgency to get another video up because you know requests and feedback is what motivates me so but please respond to this video I would like to have some video responses it's been a while since anybody responded to me what drives you to do these videos or what has caused you to lose your drive to do these videos please respond I would love to hear from you I hate to sound like Skip Rogers but I would love to. I would love to hear from you. Okay, that was a failed imitation. That's why I don't narrate his voice anymore. So yeah, please respond. I would love to hear your response and see what drives you, what no, uh, what caused you to lose your drive doing YouTube videos. That is it. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.